Hello, so here we are again at the entrance way to this view. So it's down some steps, so usually I start the video at the bottom of the steps. So now I'm trying to walk down the steps, here we are. So lots of rich green now and quite a lot of shade now in this area because of the wonderful tree canopies. Now these are sycamore trees, I think, actually. Looks like it from the leaves, doesn't it? And it's actually been quite sunny, but it's clouding over now. And we're now just fiddle around down to the bottom. So in a minute I'll share with you the view and it is rather lovely because they've been cutting the fields and that means that it's even more spectacular. I really love the field patterns, it's like patchwork so you can hopefully see it. I'll get round the corner to where the seating is and then you can see it in all its glory and I have the seating to myself so that's nice. So there we are, this is the wonderful view. And I'll get myself set up. Okay, so I've got a whole mixture of materials here. So I've got some acrylic paint, this is a dark one, and I've got some tube paint. I've got my ancient stones from Wallace Seymour. I've got a couple of watercolours, Wallace Seymour and Daniel Smith. I've got my woodies couple of colours and I've got some intense pencils, I've got some compressed charcoal and some graphite and I've got a range of tools, mainly old brushes and something to scrape the paint with and some tissue paper and then I've got my A2 sheet of paper on a board clipped on. Okay. Okay, so here is the June booklet. I just thought I would share this with you. Uh, 
now that it's completed. So I've stuck the pages so that it's more sturdy. Uh, now uh, we're getting into June, we're coming out of the spring and much more into the summer period. So that's uh, reflected, I think, in the marks and in the colours and the richness. Quite interesting to see the, the range of marks and obviously I'm jumping around when I do these, uh, looking at that wonderful view. And so you get quite a variety. And when the book is folded, you get that kind of interesting, you don't know where anything is going to end up. And you get these interesting juxtapositions that you might not have had the confidence to do if you'd have done it as a double page. So I really like that about it. This is a lovely richness of the canopies now. And you can see that coming through and the spideriness of some of the edges and lines and marks of the tree branches and so on. This is the gorgeous colours of the moors and when the light hits it at this time of year, much before the heather comes, then you've got these lovely lines of the trees and of the planting and so on. And you can kind of get the idea of the moors being there as well. So you've got near kind of views and far views. This one I really like because I like the way that I do these as pastel and inks and uh, some watercolour as well as acrylic so a whole mixture but the way they suddenly combine is quite interesting and you get these really uh, nice effects and this is clearly the moors and more of a shady sort of uh, light again nice anyway so that's the last page oh look at that lovely orange mark just in the corner there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn the camera around and just show you very briefly the six books that i have done so far ranging from january all the way through to june and we can start seeing some of the differences okay okay so what i have on my bench here are all six of the booklets and i'm not going to do a detailed review but i just thought i would show you the three groups so if I twiddle around now, I can show you. So these two here are uh, the ones that are in, in uh, view and I'll try and come down and show you. This front one is January's. It was a very blustery and windy uh, January day when the snow was coming across um, and virtually obliterating the view. And then the next one is February. So I think you can see here the, the harsher, more austere colours, the cooler colours, uh, the uh, richness of them. Um, and so that is what I'm calling two of the winter months. And then what I've done is I've put the next three are what I'm calling the spring months. So I've got March at the front. And the next one is April. And the next one is May and I'll try and get them all three of them in and hopefully you can see a much sort of limier, zingy uh, colour to them as the season progresses um, and that is in contrast to the ones at the beginning of the year. I'm not going to review in detail all the marks here, I just wanted to sort of start making those comparisons. Um, but. Obviously, there's lots of marks that will be similar throughout, but there are there are differences because the tree canopy makes a big difference and the colour uh, makes a difference too. So um, hopefully you can see how that April one in particular, I think, is particularly zingy and limey and sandy and warmer in colour um, compared to the beginning of the year. And then just to go over here for completeness, this was the one I just leafed through, which is June. And coming into June, we're out of spring and the colours flatten. There's much more leaf canopy. Uh, it's slightly different to how it was uh, in uh, the spring, which is what you can see to the side. So very briefly, I just thought I'd show you those and I will do a detailed review at the end. But as we were at the halfway point, and I've got six months worth now. I just thought I would do that very brief uh, sharing with you. OK, well, thanks very much for watching. And please do like and subscribe. And uh, again, yes, thank you. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.